Hello, Nana here. Welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13. We are picking up once again, straight where we left off last time. Trying to uh, record the end of the colony in one marathon recording session here. So we just had uh, the bug game station that's uh, dealt with. Uh, and we haven't actually even um, actually managed to replace all of the walls. So now there's gonna be some uh, some 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 cleaning, some sweeping, and then some some polishing the rocks again. But in the meantime, we are no oh, some of the folks are mining, which is good. Tessar, of course, the, the latest addition to the to the party, previously known as Mia, who is Brandon's daughter. Happily mining in here. We should all the, the hollowballs, they should be hold. Is hollowballs a word? I I think it is now. Also, let's just dig some, some mining probes out. To see if we can discover more sources of, uh, of iron. Because we definitely need more. We have mining up here. We have mining down there. It's all good. A lot of, uh, of our machinery is slowly but surely just... Uh, Giving the ghost. I'll get a pitching it back. Uh, ah, words. Trying to patch it up, but. Not all good. Ah, so these are rotting. That's why they're left there. It's a whole bunch of steel slag chunks just out there. Nobody is hauling them. That's. Unfortunate. Okay, those 18 components are definitely going to be put to good use. Yeah, because we're up to 45. We we know we need a bunch over here. Oh, they've already been placed. That's why we're just so low. Okay, cool. Now we just simply need more. Still. So Darknesia's mining, Tessar's mining. Um David is just making sure everybody gets fed, which is rather important, I, I would say. Nemesis is making sure everything stays clean. Yeah, and our meat is also overflowing. Just having so many animals, it's just not good. So... Now, if this, this were a, a, a colony that was not on the verge of just building a spaceship, I would probably consider building another room uh, for refri refrigeration purposes. So now we have the meat room, have the veggies and meat room, then and then just see if we can keep this slightly cleaner. But I think this one basically has... Meat forbidden. Exactly. Because now they really don't like to be around meat. That That's really ugly. On the other hand, meat in the hallway is also not a good idea. So, hauling people, fix that. Let's, let's just get some more meat indoors instead of outdoors. Otherwise, it's going to rot and spoil. And ah, Not healthy. Wait, is this one higher priority than the other one? What? Critical. Make this critical. Yeah, so this is going to be the meat locker. So we actually don't allow non-meat products in here. So no more vegetarian stuff. And animal corpses are also allowed to go. So just reversing the... The flow of goods. So maybe we should not put meals in there. Not kibble. So nothing manufactured. Also no full meals. Uh, 
the nice thing about the, the, the people that will hold the stuff out that doesn't belong and they will fix things. Also, I don't think we need animal products in there, so it's just going to be meat and corpses. This kibble will get hauled out as well. No empty place configured to store it. Oh, that's that's fair. I mean, it's kind of overflowing over there. Because we did tell it to um, I'll put the kibble everywhere. So this one is also going to allow... Let's use the dump stuff down here. Let's see, kibble is manufactured, I think, or meal. It's a meal. Low priority, but works nonetheless, so that means we can get the kibble out, get it there, then be done with it. Whoa, there's a battery shortage. That was down there. Oh no wait, it was actually just uh, faulty wiring. Actually, uh, yeah. Again, for a future colony, I would not put wires on the floors. I would put it in the walls because people really don't like looking at wires. But we can now, of course, replace it with uh, a slate wall. And let's see... Enzo, you're the closest. You're fighting the fire. Good. Yeah, I'll see. Works rather well. Even despite our base inter internally still being made of wood. No, you don't want to have a fight, uh, a fire just rage for too long, because that's really not going to end too happy. But, Salve. Also, because we didn't lock this one uh, down again after it got filled up, we no longer have spare batteries. So this is why you always want to uh, have some batteries on their own circuit. And once they're full, just uh, turn off the power switch so they are isolated. So when a Z event happens, you don't lose all of your power. And you can just re-enable emergency power from another source. In our case, it happened during the morning, so now power is coming back in and everything is coming up and our fridge did not cool down to zero degrees. Let's see, so we have two people mining over there. Yes. So this is not worth mining, but this is. And over here we have more mining. Okay. Okay, Dagnesia, why are you walking back? Because you're resting. Seriously, it's 11 in the morning. Uh, the interesting thing is you cannot tell your colonists to go to bed. You can tell them to do a lot of things, but you cannot tell them to go to bed. So their day-night cycle is something only they control, and it can get out of whack. Uh, you can wake them up, of course. <clears throat> There's more day people awake now. And Artinius is a night owl, so Artinius is the only one that's supposed to sleep. Yeah, of course, Darknesia, Muscle Parasite, that uh, double tiredness, that, that is the reason. I overlooked that bit. Well, upside is, of course, we are happily mining along. On the other hand, building another Crypto Sleep Casket. And we're just, just spreading 
these steel around 125 in one a little bit on the other so about 300 spent of the five that is we need 2200 more still we have 2000 so we need two, uh, 200 so we need 2000 more still what so colonel is being attacked by grizzly bear oi you're attacking our, our dog also there were cargo pots and i right clicked rather than left clicking then was that the smartest move but this grizzly needs to die we must protect the colonel uh, animals let's see if we just assign you to the livestock area hopefully the dog's gonna retreat um let's see just enable power could you flick it then we get other people in there on the guard duty oh wait the dog was stunned yeah that's that's not gonna help is it that means you melee attack the grizzly protect the dog and if that doesn't work then we're gonna change the call to action to avenge the dog um, gonna go through here that's gonna be very very dangerous yeah we'll uh we'll see if we can just use nemesis to provoke and the others one are just gonna be back up Ah, uh, and they take he killed colonel bugger okay he's eating the dog well don't do that you you evil well it's not evil it's nature but still it's our pet you don't mess with our pet Okay, now we got Grizzly Bear Revenge, though it's uh, not the best in the world. Lee attacking Nemesis. Okay, we managed to provoke it. That's good. And we have the traps. The bear traps. That's why we have shields. And it's died. So it will get hunted and life will be good except for poor poor colonel who will get turned into a meal for someone because of course that's how it works but it does mean that marco who the book was the dog was bonded to will suffer a mood penalty for that You have a... Uh, oh, wow, your nose was torn off. <laughs> Just bitten off by a grizzly. Uh, maybe we should just patch you up. Maybe. Seems like a good idea, right? Okay, so what if we... Just change our focus for a little bit. Um, we need to obtain metal. That means crafting... Or well, as in smelting is going to be important, hauling is going to be important, and mining is going to be important, and building is going to be important. Everything else is going to be of a lower priority. So, um, I think it's smithing actually for the, the electric smelter. Not just. No, actually, smelting. So that's going to be crafting. So we'll just lower the priority of the other ones and increase the priority of these relatively to the, the hauling. Plant cutting. Going to reduce the priority of that. We don't really have it, but in general, um, growing. Going to reduce the priority of that for everybody. That means some of the crops will remain unattended. But on the other hand, we are literally our fridge is overflowing with food. So if we spend less time on that, that's going to be good. Animal handling. Um, 
producing priority of that as well. We just lost one of our dogs. The other dog can just do whatever. Um, wardening, we're not really doing it. That's okay. So what if we just deprioritize cleaning by a firm a bit? Keep holding where it was. Uh, research is not being done because we haven't selected research. So and we're just going to enable mining for everybody who couldn't. If you can't uh, hole, we'll just mine. We have three people that can build. That's good. That's the number one priority. After that, we are mining. Uh, yeah, let's just raise it to priority three. Then for the people. Then after that, we'll just move on. And everybody has the permission to do crafting as well. That's all gated by skill, so should be in a decent spot. We still have some slack, so the more people just try to do something with it, the better. Um, we have no mechanoids to disassemble, so we might as well turn at this one off. Similarly for research, we're not going to do research, so I might as well turn it off, save some power. And just get some people that normally are not into mining out there, mining like here. To find even more spots with metal. Let's just accelerate things a bit. Uh, let's see, we have... We might actually have mined out all the... All the stuff over here. Just let's take a couple of small probes out there. See what we find. Similar to what we're doing here. Okay, this is getting mined out as well. Good. And slowly but surely, we are getting all the materials we in need. Thing is, you don't need to have a functioning base and perfectly balanced tasks if you're in your final sprint to finish the ship. We encountered steel over there. Ah, we're already just mining through it. That's good. Three more. See, this one needs 400 steel, this one needs 450, this one needs everything. But it's about 1400 steel, and there's 150 just floating about still. We need to mine another 1300. Slowly getting there. This is going to be the final episode. I got, a, I got a good feeling about this. Unless, of course, we get raided and... We really need to spend for time defending it, but defending that or barring that, we will be good. Oh no, Darknesia hit by a trap. That was not good. <laughs> Stab him to the head. Ow. Yeah, I'd say resting. Pretty good idea. Why did you think this was useful to go through uh, there? Or was that to hold something? I don't know. Well, just send the doctor out. A pirate merchant. Okay, well, uh, in the morning we'll have a, a chat with them. See if they have some steel for sale. Because, of course, that's the only useful thing for us right now. We have over 10,000 silver, so we, we can basically buy whatever we want. Also, I think you are done resting, so call the merchants. It's four in the, in the afternoon, that's all right. Or in the night. Uh, medicine, we're drowning in it. Components, we're drowning in it. That's good. Nothing to sell. Oh wow, a masterwork assault rifle. We are drowning in the money, right? Might as well buy one. Doomsday rocket launcher. 
You know what? For the fun of it. Uh, you know what? We'll just stick with the assault rifle. Just have some fun here. I think it was Darknesia, who also has an assault rifle with really high accuracy as well. This is just a, a normal one. So if we can... Let's see. Uh, drop this, please. And please hold this. Yep, yeah, and after that you please equip the assault rifle over there. While doing that, mark this for more mining. We'll just uh, add a couple more uh, probes in there. Same for that. But we have plenty of mining jobs right now. We have no saved up steel, so that means, yeah, Darknesia of course just went and filled these up. Cool, we need less than a thousand steel. We are making, basically all the mines we have it should be good. We just mine out all the steel we have, we will be able to get to where we need to be. Just uh, keep marking all the spare rocks as stuff that needs to be hauled, just to get it out of the way so people won't get blocked all the time while walking. actually pretty excited as i mentioned last episode i actually have never finished a colony before most of the time colonies have just ended uh, with a population count of zero for uh, one reason or another so this is pretty cool uh, let's see there's some uh, some some scrap stuff that we can haul i have no idea what the the previous drop pot was but of course ah, more more meat from this one's not really that important people get around to it then they can haul it but sure 900 steel remains there is more there let's compact that steel And here and there. So there seems to be a pretty nice vein behind there. Or it's just a little bit. Let's see, we got more over there. And it expands to the side. Perfect. Yep, more. That's... It's nice when finally things seem to be going in a good direction. This one is nearly done as well, and then we have one more that we have to build. And there's a bunch of steel out there. It's even more that's left to mine. Assuming things might be squarish, let's just queue that up. Stuff up here. Come on, people, keep mining, keep mining. If you all go to bed, then there's just more time for the storyteller to cause trouble for us. We wouldn't want that, no, would we? Smelting's also been successful, it seems. There's some on the bench. And there's another layer of steel behind here. Excellent. Let's just only mine what we can see. And of course, it's night time, so Artinius wakes up and starts building using all the steel that we've dug up during the day. And we might actually be there. This is... It's quite some steel here. I think we might be there. Today's the day we fly. Um, 
Well, Marco might not be. Still mourning the loss of his dog, of course. Bit of a bunch of broken thoughts. Oh, he's indoors. Not a lot could go bad. It's better than going berserk, to be completely honest. So, once Marco recovers, I suspect this one's going to be finished. And we can go. <sighs> well, yeah, so sad. All right, who knows? There's family in the raid. Um, mercenary Slasher Jones is Nemesis' sister. God, that's that's a bunch. That's a, uh, that's a lot. So we definitely want to enable power to just spool this up. We have no defenses on the top side. Good thing is they're coming from the bottom. No need to enable the power to down here. Also, Brendan is working on the crypto sleep casket. You finish that. Just restrict everybody to indoors now. That might work. Uh, oh, uh, let's extend the indoors also to cover the mining in the mountain. Exactly like that. And potentially like that. Uh, just keep working, keep working. Then we're going to arm our defenses here. Darknesia, could you flick the switch? Yes, please. I see they're loafing around a little bit. So we're just going to finish the ship. We're going to quietly get in. We're going to fly off while the raid is still there. Let's see if that works. Uh, we've struck compact, uh, compacted plasteel. It's pretty cool. And that is it. We have 10 caskets. So everybody, please get aboard. Could we get the dog in? No, we can't. We have to leave Naomi behind. That's, that's, that's sad. Naomi's going to defend the base. Oh, wait, uh, Marco's still wandering. Uh, Corbin? We got Tessar over there. And Enzo. And once Marco gets better, you're going to be the final one to get into the ship. No longer dazed. Good. And please get in. Show launch report ready for launch. Need one more, one more passenger. Okay, so can we see the oh, front docks? Nemesis. Is there a better way to see who's in, who's not? Or maybe it's better. We know we have ten people, so we just check all the caskets. Everybody is on board. So, launch the ship. Say goodbye to the colony and welcome to space. <sighs> there you have it. The credits are screened for, for uh, I say Path Exile, for RimWorld. Yes, Alpha 13. We made it. We finally managed to get off of the planet. Turns out, once you have a stable base, going from a stable base to finishing it in Alpha 13, relatively doable. And with that, of course, the series is at an end. I'm gonna thank you all very much for watching and for oh, sticking with the series for all of this time. I know there, there's a, a small, really hardcore people uh, that, that always just watch each and every one of the RimWorld videos. So I hope this was a, a satisfactory ending for you, that we finally managed to just get it done. 
So I'm not gonna start a new RimWorld series anytime soon. Um, no, this one has been going on for maybe, maybe even close to a year, not quite sure. I'm gonna use the time I have because I'm no longer doing RimWorld series for just getting some other series in. And who knows, maybe with Alpha 17 or some future series, I might try my hand again at RimWorld because I do have a lot of fun playing the game. Um, it's just that it tends to just take quite a while for the series to get to a natural ending. And look at all these edits, man. Ah, it's also just community translations in there. And it's nice that these credits actually have uh, a scroll thing. Also, <laughs> funny, playing is just cut off here. And then... That's that! We are now without colonists. Nobody is here. Are we... Ah, yes. Everybody is dead or gone and the story is over. So we can now return to the main menu. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.